to get this composition right. Anyway, um, I figured I'd do a channel update video and talk about something that's recently happened. Well, about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Um, I'm doing a, well, I currently got a photo exhibition running in Newport in South Wales, in Photo, which is in the Victorian Arcade in Newport. Um, people who do live in Newport know that, but people from the surrounding areas don't really know that Newport's got a Victorian Arcade, so. Just in there, there's a business called Photo, and inside there, there's a photo gallery space, and I'm currently running an exhibition called Lily of the Valley, which is based on a book trilogy. So yeah, the exhibition is based on Lily of the Valley, which is written back in the 70s by um, a local lady called Catherine Morgan. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us, but um, there are three books in the trilogy. Me, myself, being from Abba Khan, which is the focal point of um, <clears throat> the actual book itself, I decided to put a photo exhibition together based on a bunch of images I've been collecting over the past few years. So that's currently running in photo in Newport until the 31st of this month. So there's technically eight days left. So I should have made this video sooner, but I've been so busy, uh, especially traveling, because uh, you who know me, or who, whoever's been watching the channel long enough, you know that I now live in Liverpool, but I do go home occasionally. So that's a nice little tribute I've put together uh, to feature my home village, which I grew up in. So that's a little nod. A, a little nod to where I grew up in. Um, this is not, I'm not pushing anything here, but <clears throat> there is a, an accompanied photo book that I've put together that is gonna go out for print in the next 10 days, uh, which are available through my website. So links are down below if you wanna check that out, if that's no interest to you whatsoever. Peace and love. So the books are 820 and that includes delivery as well. So I'm keeping it as close as I can to like no profit on that whatsoever. I just feel that it's, it's nice to just share the stories that you grew up. It's, it's nice to share the history and where you grew up, especially in Wales as well. I'm quite patriotic, quite a patriotic Welsh person. So I like to make sure that, uh, <laughs> I like to make sure that I get uh, the word of Wales out, but I'm pretty sure everyone from Wales is patriotic enough to uh, make sure that when they're not in Wales to tell everyone that they're Welsh, it comes natural. So yeah, all links to that will be in the video description if you want to check out the uh, photo, the business that is um, um, exhibiting the photos. If you want to check out my website where you can get um, a copy of the photo book itself. And you can also check out some of the photos online. I'll make sure that there's some on the website. Prints are available too if you message me directly. So yeah, I just wanted to plug that. Some of you guys live in America, some of you guys live so far away that it's totally irrelevant for you, but I just wanted to plug that before the end of the month because I, sh I should have made a video on it sooner. Anyway, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos. I know not everyone comments. Um, I'm notorious for not commenting on videos unless I'm really pushed to, unless I'm really compelled to, unless I'm personally, or at least I feel like I'm almost directly addressed in a video. So this video goes out to everyone who comments and doesn't comment. I don't really mind if people comment on my videos or not, but it's nice that uh, some of you guys have been messaging me directly, whether it's through, um, whether you know me myself through WhatsApp or whether it's messages through Instagram, because I got a little traffic through Instagram as well. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's checking out the videos and who's been sharing them. So uh, last week um, I uploaded uh, the Swansea Craft Beer Festival video, which was really good. And my friend Cam invited me down to Swansea for the day. My friend Cam is uh, a friend of mine who lives in Liverpool. Though Cam is actually from Poland himself, so he's uh, <laughs> so he's an adopted uh, Scouser like myself, I guess. Uh, yeah, that was a fantastic evening. We got there for about half six and we left for the half ten train and uh, all night long it was just perfect. Like uh, the atmosphere and everything was amazing. And uh, again, I want to say thanks to Kraft. Uh, Again, I want to say thanks to Cam Be A World Guide, link in the description if you want to check him out. So next week, there is another craft beer festival in Bristol, which I've been invited along to as well. So um, I will be down there for that. I will be doing a video, but I don't think I'm gonna make it so heavily focused on the craft festival. I will feature it, but I think I'm gonna be staying in Bristol for the night. So uh, the day after the craft beer festival, I'm gonna go and explore Bristol for a bit before I end up going back to South Wales. Um, 
I'll be staying in South Wales for about 10 days thereafter. And uh, I'll, I'll be planning a few videos in South Wales as well. And I'll be trying to see if my mates will come out and uh, see if they want to jump in some videos as well, especially Mike, my mate Spudboy Mike down there. So I've been looking at uh, local events down in South Wales and there's a carnival in Abercrombie on the 7th of September. So uh, I, I think I want to go and check that out, see what happens. Abercrombie is one of my neighbouring towns, which I have um, grew up around. I spent a lot of time in Abercrombie growing up as well. I really love the place. Really good market sort of vibe, um, old school market town vibes in Abercrombie. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be going to check out the carnival there. Um, but also, I want to address you guys and ask you what you would like to see on the channel. I've got so much content backed up. Because before I decided that I wanted to start uploading to YouTube again, um, I went to Rome with my mates Scott and Mike, um, who are on the, you, you can see them on the Spud Boys channel if you go and check them out. And uh, this is when I first bought this DJI camera and I wasn't really much for like talking. I was trying to get used to just filming in public in general and uh, the actual talking aspect can get quite tricky. When you're abroad though, I have noticed that when I'm talking into the camera, as a tourist, people seem to just don't, they just pass by and they don't seem to like care so much. And I guess one of my nightmares is like actually filming and someone just by coming up to me and just being nasty about it. Obviously like anyone who films like a documentary, um, you will go to locations and people will be in the shots. That's just how it is. You know, like Instagram versus real life. Yeah, if you go to these locations, people are there. So um, it's it's near enough impossible not to get people in your your videos. And I, I do aim not to like get other people in my videos, but <clears throat> I guess if you're, you're somewhere which is quite a popular place, then people will be in your videos. But the thing is, when people see a camera like this, they they're more likely to investigate what you're doing. If you're just using your phone. Like any other person, and you're and you're taking a photograph of say like I don't know something in Liverpool, for example. Then people don't care as soon as they notice that you you've got an actual camera. The the mentality is different. But if you think about it, you're still doing the same thing, but you're doing it in a much more quality sort of way. Like so, I don't understand why some people can. It hasn't happened to me, but I I don't want attention when I am filming myself. I, th I think this DJI Action 2 is probably quite good. I mean, it's smaller than my phone, like, but the fact that it's because everyone has a phone, you know, so as soon as they see something different, they assume that they assume the worst, don't they? Some people just like don't like being filmed. And uh, that's always been uh, my gripe. I think the thing that's holding me back, because I do, I do feel that I need to put more commentary into my videos. Um, but I'm still, there's still a wall there where, where I'm in public and talking into the camera might be an issue. Though now, I, I am posting the videos online. And people I know, or people I don't know, are watching those videos, so... you got to think that I, I am bringing... I, hopefully I am bringing some sort of joy to people who are watching my videos, that are enjoying them. To, to negate any sort of negativity of walking around, just talking into the camera anyway. Um, there is a stigma now that, oh, you're one of those influencers sort of thing. Like it's, uh, but I'm no way an influencer. I'm just uh, someone walking around sharing my experiences. Just talk about the future of the channel and what I've got going, what I've got planned, what I have already done. So I've got enough content now to just run me into next year, probably somewhere close to March. So what I'm doing is uh, two videos a week. So the Wednesday video is predominantly um, going to be a video of me abroad. So there's another three, there's another two parts to the Paris se series. And then I'm going to start on the Rome series. And then th there's quite a lot of footage just for Rome itself. Um, there's some other videos that I've got abroad too. And um, there's some um, old cruise videos I got, which I might dig out and make those into some sort of a video for you guys to watch because, but I filmed those videos w years ago, but so that's way before I even decided to do any YouTube stuff. So those videos might be more like walking around videos. I hope you don't mind that. But uh, once I burn through my old videos and I catch up, 
um, the videos will be more walky and talky. Um, if you watch the recent Paris video, you will know that I I only talk in my videos when I get to certain points. So, well, what I what I mean, what I try to aim for is an introduction, and um, I like to film in between segments. So there might be bits where it's like two minutes long where. Uh, you could see me jump on a metro station you could see me jump on a train then when i reach my destination i'll say something again then we'll explore it with no more commentary so i think that format's working okay for me uh, but i do think i need to add a bit more dialogue just talk a bit more on the videos but i, I think the formula i'm going with is quite it's the camera overheated i had because i'm filming this in two and a half k but I was filming it in like uh, silly FPS for like 120 FPS and sat in front of it I just lowered the FPS. So hopefully the camera went overheat now. And I've turned my little lights on back here. So um, I put a video on the channel ages ago. It was actually my coming back to YouTube video. Um, and this room is massively changed now because I thought, well, if I'm gonna do YouTube, I might as well just do everything up. So the backdrop's a lot nicer. Put my guitars on the wall, got some lights here, bought brand new speakers. I put my MIDI keyboard here because I do make music here um, as a hobby. So I've got my um, condenser microphone here and my headphones. Um, guitar stuff everywhere. I do love making music. Like uh, Talking about music, um, I recently joined a band a couple of months ago called Glass Nerve and we had our first gig just before um, just before, well, we had our first gig about three months ago and it was fantastic. It was such a good show up. I haven't been on stage like that since I was in college. So it just like reignited like a big, a big fire inside me. And um, yeah, I've got a big burning passion now to uh, get really involved in the band, create new music. Um, we're doing a live on the 22nd of this month. Uh, from the rehearsal studios we do so we're just gonna run through our set and we're gonna do a live Q&A Hopefully enough people turn up to make that viable uh, But it's just gonna be a bit of fun at the end of the day So if you want to check out the band, I'll put a link in the description too There's probably gonna be quite a few links down there, but check out the music you might like it if you're into your um, 2000s uh, punk pop if you if you like your blink if you like your, um, If you like blink offspring anything of sort of that genre maybe paramore-esque um yeah just go over and check it out obviously um um but yeah that's just like a, a thing i'm involved in at the minute i'm really happy about that we're trying to get a festival sorted for summer but unfortunately the venue that we were in communication with don't have any dates until like autumn going into december so um, I'm thinking about just moving the entire thing till just next summer. Just obviously locking a date for next summer because um, festivals in the winter, they're just such a hard push. Even if you've got a good lineup as well, they're just such a hard push because um, I've, I've experienced festivals in the winter and uh, unfortunately they haven't been, haven't been the best, especially in the UK. Loads of people like to stay in coming up to the winter months. I do understand that. Obviously Christmas around the corner as well. So money's tight especially to buy festival tickets so we might move the festival till to next year um but we do have some gigs um available for this year so i mean if any of you are interested in seeing the band play or seeing me perform on stage um obviously just check the links in the description below um, most of the most of the gigs this year now until the end of the year are going to be based in liverpool um but yeah it's just fantastic to like just start to be back on stage again especially with all these guitars i got this this prompt a good use right and then uh, obviously i like writing music in the house as well so so um yeah it's just putting everything into perspective now so yeah going back to content um i've got enough content to run me through until next year now um, but i still am creating videos um on a weekly basis i would at least be making one minimum so the way the channel schedule is working at the moment which i see works well for me is that Wednesdays will be a, a travel will be a travel video that would be me outside of the UK. Uh, Fridays are more of a, a, a shorter sort of video where it's usually in a British town, English, Welsh, Scottish, or even Ireland. That's what's going to be going up on Fridays is me featuring something in in a place in the UK. So Wednesdays we're abroad, Fridays we're back in the UK. 
And if there's a series running on a Wednesday, so there's two more videos to the Paris season. Um, so the part two will be on the Wednesday the week after and the part three will be on the Wednesday the week after. So I'll roll those series out um, on a weekly basis. But like, like I said, on Friday, if no one's digging the foreign, like me being abroad, you can always check out a more local uh, video on Friday. So that's British home ground videos on Fridays, foreign videos on Wednesdays. Uh, but I do feel making a video like this maybe once a month, just to address you lot, just to catch up with you guys, tell you what I've got going, ask for some feedback in the comments. Um, if there's any suggestions of you guys whatsoever, just make sure you write them below or just message me. I know a lot of you just message me directly, which is totally cool. Right, so going forwards, um, I don't really want to like give too much away because it's nice to just drop something on the channel that no one's expecting, but um, I've been talking about this for a while now and I, I always like to relate my videos back to home, Wales. And um, I've been looking into like Celtic history and the migration of the Celts through Europe to Western Europe and then obviously to the UK. Um, so I want, I want to do a series where I trail across Celtic, Celtic coastline of Europe. So if we start in Brittany and France, for example, and then we go across the French coastline into the top of the, the Spanish coastline and work our way to Galicia, which is also a well-known Celtic part of uh, Spain. And then we could drop down into Portugal and then catch a bit of uh, learning about the Celts in uh, North Portugal. I think that would make a great series. So I am planning that and I am working out the route uh, to travel across uh, the top of France, across the top of Spain and down to Portugal. And then obviously to get back home. So um, I've worked out the routes that I've already got the plan in place. So it's, um, that's something I want to work on um, in the coming weeks actually. Because I grew up, like, I, I'm back in Liverpool now to catch up on a lot of stuff. I've been away for three weeks. So I've been doubling, I've been doing twice as much work every day just so I can get myself the free time again so I can have another 10 days off. That's how I usually work. I, I'll double up my work and then obviously take the time off I've earned then to, uh, to go on my travel. So when I was in Newport a couple of weeks ago, well, actually two weeks ago, my friend Adam does this amazing cartoon. It's called The Golden Cobra. Um, he's just um, he's just released his first series now on BBC iPlayer, and the show is actually played on BBC Two or Three on Friday nights at eight thirty. Anyway, check it out. Um, give it a Google. Um, the show is absolutely fantastic. Um, he, he did a show on YouTube called The Veil, which is based in Ever Vale, um, which is just north of where I come from in South Wales. His show called The Go Golden Cobra is based in Ever Vale as well. Uh, but I went to see him at a, um, it was a celebration we sort of drink in Cardiff where he invited out the, the, the cast and the, the voiceover guys and there's other people who are part of the show. And uh, luckily enough I was there to, and I met Eggsy from uh, Goldie Looking Chain in Newport which is fantastic. And uh, I was lucky enough to get a shout out off Eggsy for my exhibition in Newport and he's actually plugged my YouTube channel as well which I got a clip of that. So I'm going to play that at the end of this video. I might actually put it up as a reel as well, just so people can, you know, just check out that clip on its own. But um, yeah, you plugged my exhibition in Newport, which was fantastic. So well, when I did the exhibition in Newport, going backtracking now, I did a talk and I did film it. So I, I might put it on my YouTube channel. I don't think it fits the genre of my channel, but I still might put it up for you guys or at least I might put it up on YouTube if you want to check it out. So if I put it on my Juicy Pixel, sorry, if I put it on Facebook, my Juicy Pixel Facebook page, um, check it out, give it a like, uh, leave a comment. Um, the, the exhibition has been that successful that I have been asked to um, reproduce the experience, but back in my hometown. Um, I thought Newport would be a good location to do it at first because you can't teach people about things in your own town. You do need to travel out to um, travel out to um, educate other people about where I'm from, at least. So, but the people back in Abakan, they want to experience what I created in Newport. Um, so, um, I've had four venues now offer to uh, put up the exhibition. So, um, once the exhibition ends in Newport, I'll be getting the ball rolling then by relocating the exhibition. It's almost like a moving exhibition, maybe. 
maybe after the this time where I do it in my hometown, I could move the exhibition to another town if uh, it seems um, seems viable or if, if there's enough interest. Luckily enough for me, I had such a good turnout for the launch. <clears throat> Even Newport's local MP, Jess Morden, turned up, which was great. Um, I'm not too much into politics, but it is great that your local MP does turn up for your exhibition. And she did really enjoy listening to me talk about my hometown and obviously talking about the Lily of the Valley book as well, which she, um, she's shown a keen interest on. Unfortunately, my local MP was, um, wasn't available that day, but they are keen to go and check out the exhibition. So if I do redo the exhibition in my hometown, um, I will in, I will invite local MPs as well because they're, they're just good at getting the news out. Well, hopefully they are good at getting the news out, you know, rather than like um, what's happening now in the news. It's, it's always good to be um, part of uh, community projects as well. So anyway, I hope this video makes sense. I did jab on about loads of different things. So let's just highlight everything now. <laughs> So if you want to give me feedback, just let me know in the comments or message me directly. If you want to give me ideas for the channel, what should I do next? I'm an X gaming channel, as some of you long-term subs know. Um, obviously, if you want to hear my talk at the exhibition, check out my Facebook page and I'll upload that. If you want to check out the exhibition itself, it's in photo in Newport and the Victorian Arcades. And I think that's it. Anyway, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe in this video because my channel's doing well enough that I don't need to ask for that. Touch wood. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in. I'll see you next month. Maybe I'll do another video like this next month. Let's see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, and peace and love. Hey, I'm with local legend from Newport, Exy. All right. And he's got a little message to tell you. Yeah, this is Aaron. He's got an exhibition on till the 31st of August. That's correct, yeah. In the arcade in Newport. You know where the skate shop is. If you don't, just ask for the skate shop in the arcade in Newport, you'll find it. Fantastic photography. Photog What's the word? Photog photography. Uh, go and have a look. It's really good. Everyone's I'll a photographer go. now, though. Yeah, but, you I'll, know. I'll go. I will go. Just yeah. not tonight, because it's... It is late, yeah. And it's probably going to rain. Awesome. But when it's not raining, go and have a look. Natural. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to Juicy Pixel on YouTube. If that is something of a sinister nature, I don't take any responsibility for that. Peace and love. <laughs> Beautiful. I really appreciate that. Thank That's you so much.